Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going, buddy? You mind giving me a light? I'm not playing this game with you. This was funny when we were in pre-K. He's lighting a... For people who are just listening, he's lighting a... Yeah, we have a, audio listeners. That's yeah. right. This is a visual joke. You're, you're lighting a, a, a pretzel stick like it's a cigar. I don't smoke cigarettes, but the, the relief that I assume it brings... Yeah, uh, the uh, the bad health stuff too. That that would be tough. Definitely bring in that. It's gonna bring that. But like people that smoke cigarettes are the best poster people for smoking you say cigarettes. You say cigarettes weird. Cigarette. C you say well, cig cigarette. No, you, you said say? you say cigarette. Cigarette. Yeah, you're saying cigarette. Cigarette. Yeah. If you're saying writ. <laughs> it's ret. Cigarette. 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 Tomato. Porcupines. Whatever. What? How you doing? Um, anyway, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um, you started telling me a story when we were out there. I would, I would like to start there to be honest with you. Oh, um, about something you found in your car. Yeah. A new low, baby. You hit a new low. I hit a new low, which honestly, let me preface this whole thing real quick before, just so people know, if you're not super familiar with the show, Frank pisses Welcome. in his car oh, all the on, time. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you piss in your car all of the time. Slow, first of all, slow down. Okay, you're making it seem like I'm fucking pissing all over the steering wheel and shit. No, I'm saying you're pissing That's while... No, only happened once. You piss while operating a motor vehicle. Yes, because it's a skill that I have. I have to travel. I, I don't live in New York anymore. I have to travel in order to get up here to record. And in my travels, uh, I have mapped out where all the bathrooms are. Because you can't just pull over anymore. The cops will be like upset because you're too close to a school. And I, I hate when that happens. So yeah, annoying. Right, right. Remember, yeah. What was the last time? Don't even start with that. <laughs> <laughs> and I've had to master how to uh, piss in Gatorade bottles. Piss in Gatorade bottles, pure leaf tea bottles. Oh, when pure leaf. things are really stru like stressful, just like regular bottles, which is tough because their their mouth opening is not big. What's a regular bottle? Like a regular like mouth. Oh, like a Coke bottle. Why did you go to Coca originally? A seltzer. Okay, whatever. Gee, all right. Well, and um, it's not easy. It actually got particularly hard when uh, a couple of days ago we went out. We went out to see Danny's show. Mm -hmm. And I knew I was going to have a couple drinks that night, so I hydrated through the day. But hydrating for me through the day means I am going to... Whiz. A lot. I peed four times during the course of my travel up to, to Queens to park. Beautiful. And then the next morning... I hit my new low. I found my new low. What was it? <laughs> I'm in the car, and I, I keep snacks in my car. Because these trips, they get lonely and hungry. <laughs> okay. You know? So I snack. I got some apple chips. Mm, nom, nom, and yummies. I got some Belveda breakfast cookies. You know what I'm talking about. Nommy, nommy, nommies. You know? You're going to stop saying that <laughs> as a grown man. Okay. And I also have drinks in my car. Mm-hmm. And uh, are those nummy nummy nummies or those are those are never do that again? <laughs> Literally never do that again, bro. You don't got kids. You don't understand, dog. Okay. Uh, and I went one morning. <clears throat> it's an emotional story for me. I pulled out a bottle, and uh, it was frozen. And I said, "Oh, okay. Well, it was actually I gotta say, oh, it was not frozen. It was that cool science trick where it's like it's not frozen, then you hit it, and then it fucking freezes on its way down." Wait, what? You've never done that? I have seen it, but like I thought that it needed like there needed to be like some sort of like concoction in there. Oh, there was a concoction in it. Yo, Wait, yeah. hold on. So you grabbed this thing and you slammed it, and it turned into a block of ice. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It was pretty sweet. So I'm like, "Oh, sweet," and then I put it in my mouth and I fucking pulled away. Frozen bottle of piss. <laughs> Frozen bottle of pee. What are you going to do? Sometimes you pee in your car. Sometimes you forget to bring the bottles out at the end of the day. You So you pissed in your car in a bottle, yeah. and then it froze, and then you thought it was a tasty lemonade? No, because I had hydrated. Oh, it was a so clear, it was clear piss. It was just a whole thing of ice. It looked. It was so. It just looked. It was, so it doesn't get ice. It gets slushy like. When so you, you had this. slushy white piss. Yeah. Slurry. And you almost drank it. Yeah. And it, it was really close. And it was the closest I've ever come to putting my mouth to my own dick. 
Well, that's not your dick. <laughs> well, through you've you know, tried to suck your own dick when I was like twelve. Yeah, yeah. You, how'd you do it though? The classic way. Yeah, you lay on your back. Yeah, you throw your legs over. Absolutely. I remember uh, I saw a tweet one time, and it was like the most impressive thing in human history is that everyone believed the rumor about Marilyn Manson before there was the internet. Oh, that he removed a rib so he could suck his own cock. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, once you he put he had tits. I I guess I mean. He did have tits. Did he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he got breast implants. Would you Would you get breast implants if it meant like it would like turn you on to yourself more? What does that even begin like, to mean? Like you know, you you you're jerking off all the time. So like, if you're like you know in your own head and you're like, damn, this is sexy, and then you I'd, feel your own tits and you're like, whoa, dude. I'd, I'd rather just put one on the wall or something. <laughs> like if you know you like put like wait, I think. Actually, that's kind of weird that I said that because I'm pretty sure I read a report once that Jeffrey Epstein had something like that near his bathtub. Like in his New York townhouse. There he was had, like a bath. Like, you remember he had like the fucking picture of uh, I, Bill Clinton and I, Monica Lewinsky's I, dress or something? I've read, a, I've read a lot about the things that he's had. You know, Jeff? <laughs> so I heard, though, that near his bathtub there was like a... I like how you said heard. Like, um, m- I might have happened. No, I, I don't know. But it was, it was like a... Uh, a thing where it was like his near his bathtub there was like two tits just in the wall no it was like on a plate what i don't know it was like near so like you it's like having tits around i don't know i mean i guess he he'd need that cuz glane maxwell was built like a fucking pretzel stick well <laughs> now we're going to body shame it's Glenn Maxwell. I know we if can get gonna, yeah if you're going to if you're going to body shame someone bo- we can we can body shame Harvey Weinstein that guy's just falling apart. Still haven't gotten a look at that penis, though. Oh, is that out there? I don't know. You Google it. I'm not going to do I'm it. I'm Googling Harvey Weinstein's you can, cock. You can body shame Hitler. And you can and we body know sh- he had a whack You can dick. body shame Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. I don't think anyone's going to be like, don't do that. That's a f- Bro, what are you doing? Defending them, you fucking m- m- villain? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm looking up this dick. Is it out there? I don't want to see it. I just want to see your face seeing it. There's a... <laughs> There's a picture. It's not of his dick. It's of, you know, in the courtroom where, like, people draw up. Why the fuck does that exist, by the way? And it's how? Like, we're having a very serious, like, investigation and trial going on, oh, yeah. and someone's over there painting pictures of it. Bro. Like, why? I never understood that. Where does it go? Also, how do you paint them? Like, everyone's moving all the time. So, like, how do you get them still in that moment? You know what I mean? It I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. To it me. makes sense for weddings. Like you have like a live wedding picture. Like my sister had that at her wedding. She had a guy who was painting. Oh, we that was all pretty in cool. It. Yeah, it's nice. But to do it in a courtroom, and then also the picture that this person painted was Harvey Weinstein with his fucking dick. Oh no! Yeah, oh, look. That's. I mean, that's not his dick. I can't see his dick from here. Thank God for no, my bad eyesight. No, he can't see his dick either, dude. Apparently. Thank God for my bad eyesight. Do you know that we? Uh, you think they have to go to school? You know how like the the court stenographers have to go to school to like type. You know, as fast as they do? Yes. Do you think you have to go to school to be a, a, a court painter? 100%, dude. Is there any value to those paintings? I have no idea. Like, at all? All I know is, is that this headline says, Harvey Weinstein's penis looked like it had been chopped off and sewn back on. Oh, it probably had been. That's a whack. What ha- What's got to happen to your shit? I, he mashed, I think someone once said that it looked like ground beef. And then someone said... I didn't really see a full sack. I literally just saw a penis. Ugh. Because of an infection, his testicles were actually taken from his scrotum and put into his yeah, inner okay, thigh. Yeah, well, okay. I mean, we were... Wait, hold on. We First of all, we've talked a lot, believe it or not, about Harvey Weinstein's wiener. Because of an infection, his testicles were taken from his scrotum and put into his inner thighs. His <laughs> balls are in his thighs? That's kind of... Honestly? No, dude, because sometimes I chafe. Like with my, I chafe too. Yeah, but my thighs like. Oh, like are touch. they hanging low? Is he like? Bro, I don't know. He, they're putting, or do they just like put it in his thigh and they're just there? Like there's no difference. Yeah, but there's. I mean, his balls are there. So like, if your legs are touching, your balls are hitting against each other. Oh, okay. If I could rearrange the human body, I would have done things a little different. Where would you have put the balls? Inside. Of what? The body. Which part? The. Like ovaries. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I don't need them out there. They're just they're. They're, they're fucking... What else would you change? Hmm. How many fingers? Uh, I'd, go, I'd go a couple. I'd go another thumb on this side. Two thumbs? Two thumbs, yeah. Can you imagine the power you'd have with your hands? The power? Yeah. What would you... Why... What? 
Yeah, it would just be cool to have really good grip strength. Yeah, I mean, look at Monkey. I'd make my feet like hands, too. This whole feet thing ain't going to work for me. I don't like... You need thumbs down there. I want thumb. I want, like, my hands. Like, you know how monkeys have hands for feet? Yeah. I want that. Because they can just, like, fucking hang upside down, chilling. My feet are useless, besides the walking part. I feel like that's a big one. It's, it is. It's a pretty big one. But, like, I can't grab anything with them. I can't high-five people with how them. How many nipples? Uh, I'm, I'm fine with none. For me. No nipples. For men? What do men need nipples for? Mine just chafe. No, I think that <laughs> I think that nipples serve a purpose. For men? What is it? To it, The way it looks. If, imagine not having nipples. You'd be like, what? Yeah, I'd be fine with that. But you like women nipples. Yeah, because they have, they have, like, because behind the fact that I know that they're nipples. Yeah, but don't get into this, like, the baby thing. I know that that, that thing is going to give life to, you know, a baby. Of course, of course, of course. If they choose. Of course. But there's there's meaning behind those nipples. Aesthetically, you like a nipple. Yeah, nipples not bad. I'm cool I, with I, nips. I don't know that I like what the way that you're describing this right now. To be honest, why is that? Because you're like, oh, they're not bad. I I I love nipples. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you want, Joey? <laughs> is that what you want, America? You're not really convincing me. All right. Uh, what do you want? You want me to like passionately tell you the, all the reasons I love? I want nipples? you to just be like, ah. Oh. You do it first. You know, I'm just, well, I just did it. No, you no, 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 do it again. I'm just saying nipples are sick, dude. No, I, I agree nipples all are great. All kinds of nipples, too. I'm all, I'm all for whatever nipple. I'm, I'm all about nipple love, baby. Yeah, nips, nips, nips. nips, N- nips big nips. nipples, small nipples, also, wide. When, when nipples have those little nipples oh. that are like with the nipple. It's like an additional. A little, like, little army of nipples. It's like, it's, yeah, I like And that. then there's a the one big nipple, like, what's It's like good? the secret service of the nipple. Yeah, you know like, I mean? there's like one. They're walking by, they're just like, we're here too. Yeah, it's like the little, the little, the, the, like, kind of, like, white. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And they're, like, around. I don't know about they're white. I don't know why I said that. But no, like, they're probably not. Yeah, I don't know. But they're, like, littler nipples. And then the one, like, nipple is like, this is, this is me, though. Yeah, 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 Like, the one nipple is, like, standing up, like. It's the queen nipple. The queen nipple, yeah. The queen nipple. And then there's the secret service. It's the royal guard. Yeah, yeah. And they're just like. And know, then the, the areola. always just like, here, you know, hello. Yeah. And then the royal guard is, like, around, just like everything. And then what's the areola? It's just, like, the secret garden. Like, you can't get out of well, that. Well, it's the nipple's vagina. The areola is the nipple. Oh wait, vagina? you mean the hole in the nipple, or you mean like the whole nipple itself? The whole hole in the nipple. Well, yeah, nipples have there. There are there's holes in them because there's fucking fluid that needs to come out. Okay, and no, I meant the areola, the hole, the, the that whole thing. The whole areola. That's the Vatican. That's the Vatican. Yeah. So the nipples, the Pope. Nipples, the Pope, and then the little nipples are the cardinals. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> you know how the Vatican. Is a country in a country? Yeah. That's the areola. Isn't it weird that a boob is two? Like a boob is like a boob. Like a boob. Yep. But then also a nipple is like, is it a boob? It's another. It's boob plus. It's Yeah, it's boob without ads. Yeah, That's exactly. what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a boob you plus. Pay, you pay for You get YouTube. You get this. You get YouTube, but then you want those no ads. Yeah. YouTube red. YouTube plus. Yeah, right. <laughs> YouTube red. <laughs> So weird, though. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's a boob. Like if you see a boob without a nipple, you go, "That's still a boob." It's still a boob. But if you see but a it's nipple, not as satisfying until you see nipple. Right, of course. But if you see a nipple, is that a boob? If you just see nipple, is that? Are you seeing a boob? I think if you, mm, that's a good question. That's I think a if great you, question. I think if you just see nipple, like if you were to somehow like isolate, yeah, taking a look, like a like a, it telephone. doesn't count. Like it's like it's like a it's like a real great painting. If you were to look at just one part of the painting, you would say, I know what this painting can be. And it's beautiful. You want to see what surrounds it. But I want to see the whole, you know, the whole show. Yeah. You catch my drift? I am, I am, I am. I just thought about that right now, though. That's a really good point. That's really, it's, it's, frogs and toads. You, you know. Okay. All nipples are boobs, but not all boobs are nipples. You know what I'm saying? No, no boobs are nipples. A boob can't be a nipple. No, because when you see boobs, you don't go, whoa, boob and nipple. You say, that's a boob. That's a whole boob. You refer to the collective boob. Yeah, but the boob. But when you see just nipple, it's not you say, boob. where's the boob? Yeah. You're, you're that bo- makes no sense when you think it, it about it. It doesn't make any sense. When you make, think about it, it doesn't. It doesn't. And we don't have that as men. We have it so hard. What do we got? Dick and balls. Yeah, which are like completely separate entities. Completely separate entities. There's yeah. no union. Like the the like the, the boob and the nipple are, are like best friends. You know? They're like lockstep but, with each other. Yeah, but there is a double standard that must be cause some arguments. Because like you said, 
them together is a boob. And no nipple is still a boob. But just nipple is not a boob. Yeah. It's weird, right? It's the, it's the beautiful... Suck on that for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well, we had... <laughs> we hope that wasn't too laborious for you to take in. That's it, enough. It is crazy the way that like there there's relationships in nature yeah you know what i mean like if you saw a rose petal you say where's the full rose where's the rose you don't want to just see the petal same with nipples and boobs i can't believe that was where you went <laughs> rose petals and roses yeah i think that's a good analogy a good way to think of it i don't know about yeah that. i peed in my car and it got frozen <laughs> I'm just gonna say this is coming from a man who pissed in his car yep. and almost drank it. You ever drank? You ever like ever been curious as to what your piece tastes like? I said piece. <laughs> <laughs> piece tastes like what your pee tastes um, like. Um, no. I, I on a previous episode, Danny once told me that he like flicked his stream and went, Mwah. and I was like, I've never done that. Have you ever pissed your mouth? No, 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 never. I've <laughs> you've never pissed your mouth? No, I don't think. Uh, hold on, let me. Uh, no, no, I don't. But it's think like. I if I piss on myself, which I've pissed on myself, and I could smell this, I think I can guess what it tastes like. <sighs> but, but I'm not gonna drink it. I'm not sure like you about know. That? Not all not all smells equal tastes. Sometimes. I mean, if it, what what? Ah, uh, you know, there are teas out there that smell one way, taste another. Speaking of this, uh oh. Yesterday, this is a real thing that happened. Yesterday, I went to dinner, and uh, with Greg, and he ordered a, a, some bottle of wine. The lady brings it over, pours it out, and before we pick up the glass, she goes, it's a little farty. What? That's what she said. No, you can't drink that. And guess what? Farty. Farty. Why? What, kind of, fart. Wine, what kind of wine was it? Um, it was from like the Canary Islands. Wasn't that? I don't know. Uh, I'm not familiar. I was going to say something. I know Long Island. I know Long Island. You, Long Beach Island. <laughs> Fire Island. Fire Island, you, you know. know. I don't know. Canary Island. Where the yeah. hell is that? It's, you know, something with birds, I assume. I don't like that. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, she was like, yeah, it's farty. And I was like, what? I always said, take it back, please. Well, no, she's like, it's the po the point of it. I don't know. And she was talking about volcanic ash at one point. I was like, I don't really well, know. Well, sulfur. Fun. Sulfur is farty. It's well, poop. that's what it was farty. It's poopy. It is. It's and I was like. Smelling it, I'm like, oh, fart. Like, but fart? then we drink it and like it tastes good. No, well, I wouldn't be able to get past the fart. Yeah, I had to power through the farty. If you would you f like drink your own fart if it made good wine? Are you what? What? Two adults. Two. <laughs> At these Would tables. you drink your fart? That was such like a dude podcast <laughs> question. Would you drink your fart if it made wine? Well, because I I ask because every guy, even if they deny it. Loves their own stench. I don't love it, but I like to be disgusted by it. Yeah. <laughs> like, you ever... <laughs> you like to fucking... Oh, you pig. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you little disgusting dirt maggot. You've never been in a, in a car by yourself, and you fart, and, it's, and it came out hot, and you're like, this is going to be awful in a second. I and then you get it, and you're like... I was right. And yeah. then you're like, this you're more, stinks now. So you get more like proud of your body for being able to just, you know, elicit such a disgusting. It's, I don't know, because I'm not really happy about it. I don't want it to smell like, like bad. But for some reason, I'm like, oh, that's going to be bad. And then I'm like, oh my God. Oh, I'm right. But it's like, I'm smirking though. I am smirking. So I am having a little, my tail's whack. So this is just your, your, uh, you know, inherent need to be right all the time. So you're just like, oh, that's going to suck. And it is. And you're like, I'm so smart. I'm a genius. I'm very <laughs> smart right now. I don't know what it is. No, dude. I love my own smell. And I say this all the time. I apologize often to my family for the way that my body smells at the end of a day. But I'm so impressed by it. I'm just like, whoa. Like, how can... Ew. Yeah. Whoa. It is gross. But then I'm like, okay. And there's some, you know, there's layers to it. I'm like, blueberry? A what? Dirt? You know, I can smell it all. Blueberry and dirt? Well, there's different layers of scent in there. You've... Come home smelling like dirt. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> and blueberries. Oh yeah. I mean, not at the same time, but one time my 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 aunt told my dad that he smelled like a deli. <laughs> that's just like a bunch of meat. That's actually that sounds pretty accurate. Yeah, it was probably coming through his pores. If you could smell like any food, what would it be? If I could smell like any food. Yeah. Like, not like something cute, like strawberries. Cinnamon buns. Wow. Or vanilla? Just go back. Cinnamon buns. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. That's a good one. I love cinnamon buns. I do. When you go to like the mall and you smell cinnamon. Oh, or like Auntie Annie's or whatever. I was I honestly, I'm not even gonna lie, I was gonna say butter. You wanna smell like butter? Yeah. What does butter smell like? Butter. That helps. Po- like a movie theater. Buttered popcorn. Yeah, but buttered popcorn. Buttered popcorn. Like, it smells like popcorn. Oh, wait, so then buttered popcorn. You want to smell like buttered popcorn? Yeah. No. Why not? Uh, ew. That's a good smell. So if there was a cologne of buttered popcorn, you'd spray it on your bod? Sign it up. Really? Yeah, 100%. I'm going to find one. You better. <laughs> you think it exists? You don't think it exists? Oh, here we go. It sounds like there's a tidal wave coming. It's the building. You're going to hit the building. The building is falling down. Or that. We're okay. We'll figure it out. You really think a tidal wave can kill you? Do you want to do that? <laughs> do you want to have that conversation? Do you? Do I think a tidal wave can kill me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, yes, if it crashed on you. But like, if it crashed like a mile down the way, you just swim, right? What are you asking me? <laughs> no. A tidal wave. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How big? 50 feet. 50 feet. <laughs> if a 50-foot wave hit me? No, 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 no. I, I, you're dead. You're, you'll be fucking paced. Human yeah. paced at that point. But, like, say where you live right now. Yeah. Say a tidal wave hit Astoria Park. Okay. Do you think you could live? If you're on the street, not if you're in your building. Penthouse. <laughs> If it, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'd like to say yes. I'd like to, yeah. I would too. I think I could because I'm a good swimmer. That's great. You're going to have to dodge all of the cars and <laughs> buildings that have been. I mean, bro, it's water. How fast is a car coming at you in the water? And they don't. Do the they water's all... moving very fast. Oh, yeah. Have you seen a tidal wave? I've seen a tidal wave, but like, <laughs> not in person. Me neither. So. I mean, that's why we're still here, but I would say. <laughs> because you wouldn't make it. I would say there was a story that came out the other day that a guy fell off a cruise ship and survived for 20 hours just waiting water. He was uh, treading water for 20 hours. Dude, I'll tell you what. No. Five hours, if I'm physically capable, five hours in one minute, I swim as far down as I can and then die as I try to get back up. Yeah, I would say... I would hope that a whale just fucking... Oh, you want a whale? Hey, no. eat me, bro. I, I would want something more instant. A whale, like, there would be the panic, the fear, the pain, and then the lights out. Yeah. I would want something a little more, like, I'd want a shark to come up and come down and, and, like, as it hit the water, snatch my head off. So it's, like, instant. Oh, yeah. That would be nice, actually. <laughs> because uh, the, the fear and anxiety. I'd never be able to go back in the water ever again. If, if I was just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also fucking Michael Phelps over here. Yo, 20 hours. Bro, 20 hours. I don't know how long you can tread water for, especially if you're like your life's on the line. I mean, it is the ocean; it's pretty salty, but you're fighting waves, bro. I don't care how salty it is; it's the ocean, bro. What's the longest you've ever tread water for? A minute. I had a contest with Thomas once and see who could do it, but we got bored after 15 minutes. When I went to camp as a kid, uh, we had to take a swimming test in order to get. There were three levels because every day we did two uh, swim like classes. It was instructional swim in the morning. And then it was f- fun swim in the afternoon. And you had to wear wristbands depending on what part of the pool you can go in. So green, you can only go in like up to like four feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, yellow was, I think it was like five to six feet. And then red, which was the deep end, was up to 12 feet. Were you red? Not at first. Wow. Well, hold on. So I had to take a test in order to get yellow and get red. And one of the tests for red was to tread water for a minute. So you had to sit there. And, and kids don't tread water like the rest of us. Like, we're like, oh. Kids, like, and their head is, like, barely above water. Yeah. How old were you? Uh, 11, 10, maybe. I feel like treading water for a minute is, like, super easy. Oh, well, now, yeah. But when I was fucking 10 and I panicked... Uh, no way. Did you fail? You failed your little red test? No, I got it. I got it. Oh, nice. I got it. I was good. And you got you, your red wings. I got, well, hold on. Those are different. What is red wings? What? You've never heard of the term red wings? I'm serious. I don't know. <sighs> My red, red wings? Yeah. 
Red Wings is a colloquial... Uh, okay, talk like a person. How about that? Let's start there. <laughs> All right, dude. Sorry, brother. <laughs> All right. Where, Red it's, Wings. It's, a, it's, a ter- it's like slang, basically, for having sex with uh, someone on their period. Oh, why Red Wing? What is this, like a pilot? Because it, like on your inner thigh, it makes red... Uh, <laughs> it makes red markings that look like wings, apparently. Is that true? That's what the term is. Go wow. check Urban Dictionary. It'll tell you. I ain't lying. Why are you doing that? I'm going to keep smoking this shit. Red Wings. <laughs> what does it say? Oh, no. Red Wings says when you eat out a girl and she's on her period. No, I heard that was called a rainbow kiss. <laughs> Why would it be rainbow? That's uh, what it's called. Red Wings, although it is believed to be involving oral sex, it actually refers to the bloody smears on the front of the thighs and groin after having sex with a woman on her period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the... the dude. <laughs> the fucking sentence I give you? She was on the rag. Yeah, well... But I didn't care. I learned to fly with my Red Wings. How, talk about a disgusting way to describe that. She's on the rag. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's uh, how men are. Pieces of shit, disgusting assholes. You ever look up Joe Sanagato on Urban Dictionary? No. It's good. It says we can't find it. What? Yeah. I must have taken it off. Santa Gato? Oh, Santa Gato's there. There you go. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> uh, known as an infectious... This is Santa Gato. Uh, known as an infectious disease which causes stalking, drooling, amazing Tuesdays, and laughing your ass off. Santa Gato has been isolated to a small area in New York known as Astoria, named as being the start of the infection. The quarantine area currently holds approximately 192,000 patients and counting, but is quickly spreading to Canada and Asia. Signs and symptoms of Santa Gato are classified as followed. This is so weird. <laughs> Who wrote this? A nine-year-old? I wrote it. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> that would be funny, though. No, I remember I saw that one, and I was like, what the fuck is that? If you see Santa Gato or any signs of Santa Gato, keep watching, and hopefully the level of attractiveness will go away. Once you have experienced Santa Gato, you cannot be cured, just like herpes. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I will say, they got two things right. One... Your level of attractiveness is Dude. severely gone down. First of all, this one was written last year. It's Santa, it just says Santa Gato. Leaving downtown New York to an upper-class suburban area and paying $457 for a haircut that looks like a seven-year-old who wouldn't sit still in the barber chair. That one I might have wrote. No, that one was by K. Will. That was January of 2021. So that's, this is, this is that's pretty recent. The other one was in 2012. Yeah, that's 10 years ago. The year that the world was supposed to end. Yeah, and almost didn't. Huh? Oh? Huh? You know, there's theories that it did. Yeah. And we're living in the Matrix. No, I, I think they had two things right. One, uh, your uh, attractiveness has gone down since 2012. No way. Do you think you're hotter now than in 2012? Yes. Really? Bro. I would say I'm hotter now than I ever was. I would also say that. Whoa, hold on. Well, what do you mean by that, bitch? I'm saying that you look good. Thank you. But you're saying I didn't look good in 2012. I'm saying you look better now than you did then. Wow, thank you. How do you get offended and then not offended <laughs> at the same time? Um, all right, let's get to these ads before we do anything. Before yeah, we get yeah back that's, to, that's a good idea. To you, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. maturing as a man. Thank you. Uh, this this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online counseling. Um, you can uh, talk to a therapist uh, with BetterHelp, and um, they'll, you'll start communicating just under 48 hours. Um, and uh, they have matched over 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists. Available 100% online. You can do phone calls or video chat, whatever you want. Plus, it is affordable, way more affordable than in-person therapy. That is super expensive. Um, so no waiting rooms, no traffic or anything like that. And on top of it already being affordable, you can save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash basement yard. That is betterhelp.com uh, slash basement yard. Um, but yeah, go check them out. Uh, I've... BetterHelp's been on the show for a while now. Um, but yeah, everyone should be in therapy. I've been in therapy for a year. I actually had therapy this morning, so it's great. Um, and next here we have Rocket Money, okay? Rocket Money is going to save you money. Uh, if you, Like, 
all of us do this thing where they, we do free trials, we do whatever, we accidentally sign up for things, and then you start paying for a subscription that you're not even using, you don't even realize. Or, you know, you signed up for every single app in the world, uh, and you're paying for all these things, and you don't even use them anymore. So Rocket Money will help you uh, pinpoint which of these things you're just wasting money on, um, and 80% of people have subscriptions they have forgotten about. So likely that you have at least one that you have forgotten about. Um, this app will show all your subscriptions in one place and it cancels uh, what you don't want for you. Um, so yeah, you could save a bunch of money doing this. I'm sure there's a lot of money that you don't realize you're spending or whatever. Like I said, 80% of people have you know a subscription they don't really know about or use. Um, you can cancel unnecessary subscriptions with Rocket Money today. Just go to rocketmoney.com slash basement. Uh, it could save you hundreds of dollars a year. Uh, again, that is rocketmoney.com slash basement basement okay so there you go folks there you go good friends of the show yeah. and also yes i'm gonna tell you guys about patreon patreon.com slash the basement yard listen we talk about patreon every single week <laughs> <laughs> that we're on this episode and why because it's the best way to support us directly listen joey has 14 cars and two rolexes he wouldn't be able to get there if it wasn't for our friends you guys at patreon.com neither the basement of those things yard. are true all right sorry he has two cars and two rolexes i have one car one watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, we tell you guys about the Patreon all uh, the time, and we want to thank you for getting it to 12000 We actually are, uh, by the time you guys see this, uh, we're going to be putting out our drag episode pretty quickly now that I'm thinking about it. So um, thank you guys for getting us to 12000 But then if you keep going to 13000 we'll tell your friends about it. Give the gift of the Patreon this holiday season for anyone that's a fan of the show. Well, we got something else lined up for 13. So go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. That first tier, well, it gets you these weekly episodes a week in advance. That second tier, well, guess what? That's where the <laughs> comes out, and that's where you get those exclusive episodes. The every fuck does that mean? You like that. Friday mornings at 7 a.m., you could start and end your week with The Basement Yard. It's pretty good. So, again, Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Check it out today. <laughs> I, I want to come up with, like, a jingle for it. You know, like 1-800-EMPIRE today. Is that what that is? 1-800-588-2300 Empire Today. Dun. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? What is that? I th don't know. Honestly, don't know. I, or are they the carpet or flooring people? No, that's Stanley Steamer. Stanley Steamer makes carpets, carpets cleaner. cleaner. Doesn't really, though. Um, Have used it before. That legitimately scares the fuck <laughs> that, out of me. Uh, this is not a joke. The that building is me. now falling apart. That legitimately sounded like the building was coming down. I think the people next door are doing something and they dropped something. Oh, clearly. And a whole bunch of somethings. Clearly. Yeah, scared me. I would think if the building were to come down... You ever thought about that? No, Frank. Like, I it, haven't thought about the building collapsing on top of me. You've never been in, like, had a dream where, like, a building fell or, like, something like that? Would you ever, like, what would you do? I know it would happen too quick for you to really do anything. I'll tell you what. I had a dream once where... We were fighting in a war. We meaning like the, six of our friends. The collective we. Yeah. And uh, Was we I were, there? I don't remember. Or did I die earlier in the war? I don't know. All right. Sounds familiar. <laughs> so I... Uh, but I was hiding everyone in a treehouse. I was very brave in this dream. Clearly not. It's like, guys, get in there. A treehouse? Uh, well, I, well, I had. You hid in the most childish place possible. They're never going to look there for well, other yeah, soldiers. Yeah, they're not because they're. Get th in. Because, it, first of all, wouldn't be able to fit two of you. And then I went to go fight. I went to go fight. What a, and everyone got mad at me. What a hero. Like, get up here. What a like, hero. Yeah. Stay there. What a, st what a dumb thing to do. I woke up and I was like, I would never do that. Yeah, well, multiple reasons. One, you're taking away manpower, which you need during a war. Oh, tell us more, fucking... I, I am... I am. What? Uh, Ulysses S. Grant? No, but my father-in-law is quite fond of Ulysses S. Grant and a lot of stuff from the Civil War, so he talks about war all the time. One thing you should know what about, about Robert E. Lee. What about him? Not a great guy. I don't think so. I don't so. think any of them were really like... No, know. I think Ulysses S. Grant was a good guy. Well, just by today's standards, probably not as well. Who's buried in Grant's tomb? Who's what? Buried in Grant's tomb. Is this a... Not him? It's him and his wife, actually. A lot of people always think like, Grant? And it's like, and his wife. Grant's tomb is here on Manhattan. You didn't know that? What? I don't know what you're saying. Ulysses S. Grant is buried on the west side of Manhattan in Grant's tomb. What's Grant's tomb? The his tomb, tomb named after Grant. 
I didn't know that was a thing. You said that like I'm supposed to know what that is. So you go to all these fancy restaurants. And I don't all, know unless he's as you, grand. you have all these, these great watches. So you could tell me about $400 sushi you've had, but you can't tell me who Ulysses S. Grant is. I know who is. I, I's the one who yeah, said Yeah, who did name. he fight for? The people. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what people? The union. Uh, who are? The north. Yeah. All right. All right. Actually, you're pretty good so far. I'm not good. You're pretty good so far. I'm not as dumb as I... Come on. I mean, I didn't know he was buried on the west side of Manhattan. Come on. Yeah. There's a, you've never been on the west side highway? Where was the Civil War? All over. It was a civil thing. There was a lot of actually battles in Jersey. Stop talking about it. <laughs> there was a lot of battles in New Jersey, actually. There's a lot of history there. I, I hate history. I don't know why I'm talking about yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I really do want to be in a fake battle, though. Like a Civil War battle. We've talked about going LARPing. I, I would well, love... That, I feel like I'd be good at sword fighting for some reason. I don't know why. It's just like a blind confidence. I, I have a blind confidence, too. And also, I've done enough sword fighting trees to be like, I know I'd be good. Sword fighting trees? Yeah, with sticks at the lake house. I'd always be like... Okay. I also just watched a couple episodes of Wednesday, and she fences in that. And I'd be she like, does, she does, I'd she be does. really good at that shit. I like that show. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what were you saying the reason you like that show for? <laughs> yeah, what? You, you said uh, something about the, the show. I like the show. Yeah, but there was some other reason. Do you remember what it was? No, I don't. Something to do with the, the school. <laughs> oh, you're going to make like a segregation joke or something? <laughs> no, why the fuck would I be? Because that? it's a school for like outcasts. No, I was going to make a joke about their kids, but... Oh, oh, hey, oh, all right. I'll, 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 whatever joke you like better, Joe. <laughs> I never know. Every time you go, weren't you? Joe? I go, no. I wasn't doing any of that because okay. this is made up now. All right. Um, something else in the news, Joey, that I don't know if you saw. Uh, Vladimir Putin apparently pooped his pants. What are you gonna do? Uh, Sometimes you gotta, you know, poop. No, pooping your pants is way worse than peeing your pants. <sighs> yeah, I mean, yes, of course. Because it's it's it hurts more. Although it's the one that people can't really tell as much. I tell you what, it's only because of the mess. It's not really because of the smell. No, that hurt. I, I, I could imagine that would hurt your like your being, your person. No, I know, but it's like it's really hard to clean up, and it's like it's all over. The piss is like it dries, and it's like transparent. You can't really see it. Not really. You can hope that you have like a real like put like well together, put together sturdy poop. No one, no one ever poops their pants, and it's like solid. Is it? Oh, well, probably because... It become It's like, the reason why you're shitting your pants is because it's like diarrhea, cha-cha-cha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You and your fucking idiot mom. <laughs> <laughs> she calls it diarrhea, cha-cha-cha. But, yeah, if I'm anytime I've ever shit my pants, it's because I had cha-cha-cha. I've never pooped my pants as far as I can remember. I assume, though... Really? I, I can't think Dude, you that. don't throw up? You don't poop your pants? What do you do? What do you do out there? I, I go, go to the bathroom, Joe. Well, you also piss in your yard. That's not normal. Just fucking chill. I'm just saying. You pee in your own I property. Don't, right, hold on. Hold on. Stop what you're doing. Bathroom there. Yard here. Piss right there. Sometimes you don't understand, Joey. I will say this. I No, I do understand because I've been walking him and he's peeing outside and I have to pee. And I'm like, what if I just piss? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> well, I'm saying that. I'm saying it's because... It'll be a night where I'm like sitting outside, you know, I really haven't had a cigar in a very long time, but like I'll have a cu cup of tea, uh, a cigar, a glass of whiskey, whatever, whatever. And then what are you, George Washington? <laughs> what is this? What is this nightly routine? That's what I like. Not nightly. It's like I sit down and I have a tea and I write a letter to I'd Abigail. I like to do things that are outside the box, Joey. What do you like? Outside the box, you had fucking a cigar and scotch. Welcome to every fucking <laughs> white person ever. I'm sorry that, and then I do it, and it says, "What kind of life are you living?" Because it, I like to do. Oh my god! Oh, I was sitting. What outside. would you rather me do? On well, a brisk oh, I night. sat on my couch like a miserable fucking prude and watched <laughs> Seinfeld. Fuck you. Go outside. Look at the stars. Breathe some fresh air every now and then, you fucking geek. But first of all, I get outside. But you're over here with your cup of tea <laughs> and a scotch? Scotch and tea? No, no, not no, at the same time, Joey. There'll be different nights. There'll be different nights. Oh. I thought you had a cup of tea oh. with a cigar and then having scotch. Although you're out there writing fucking handwritten letters to your <laughs> fucking lonely wife that you're like, you know. Although a lot of people do put whiskey in their tea and they call it a hot toddy. 
That is true. Uh, I've had one of those. I I think I have, but not for like a like cool reason. Because I was sad. <laughs> you had a hot. T- you were upset drinking, and you were you drank a hot toddy. I think when I was in like like post grad school, right before I met Becca. Yeah. And like life was tough. You went? Did you make it or you went? Well, I made it. I made it. I made it. Okay, because if you, you think I would go to a bar and be like, make me a hot toddy, bro. I have questions. Yes, that's... I would. If that were the case, <laughs> I would fucking kill myself tomorrow. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know about that one. No, I like to sit outside and enjoy a, a piss. No, but my everyone in my house will be sleeping, so it's like go inside and risk waking them up because I gotta. I gotta. I got a heavy stream. You got a fat stream? It's got a fat stream. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make noise. Do you feel like when you pee and other dudes are around, you have to make sure your piss is so loud because you want them to think that you got a hog? Yeah. I don't know why we do that. Yeah, yeah, But that's yeah, what guys yeah. do, if you notice that. Or if you if a guy's over your apartment for the first time and he goes to pee, he he's going to really put some oomph into his piss. So, yeah. he, so you think you're out there like, damn, this is pissing really hard. I in used there. to be, I used to be, you know, like pee the side of the bowl, make it sound, but then it makes it sound like I have like, a fucking baby dick. Yeah, or I got a pussy. You know, like I'm peeing over Bro, there. Like I, I just, I can't. Yeah, I'm peeing like a little. Like I got a heavy flow. I got a heavy stream. Nice. So now, sometimes if I don't want to go inside and wake them up, I just pee in my backyard. I have fences. No one can see, and I haven't done it in quite a while. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. First of all, you have fences, but they're not like blackout fences. What the fuck are you talking you, about? I can see your neighbor's window. From your yard easily. Yeah, if I'm standing on the deck, but when I go stand on the fence, it's six feet tall. There's no one's gonna see me. Yeah, your neighbors have seen your dick. I hope not. It's so funny. One night I was out there peeing, and and I I texted. <laughs> <laughs> when I was out there peeing, I texted Becca, and she's like, "Babe, the neighbors just texted me and said that they see you peeing, and they said they're gonna call the cops if you do it again." And I fucking I was like, "No," I like went inside. I was she so was lying. Scared. Yeah, she was fucking oh, with okay. me. But like, I was so scared. Cause they have kids. Oh no, you can't get in trouble for that. I said I don't know. I don't know. That's why it didn't happen. Right. But if it did, scary. It was freaky. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I've never. Thought of that. I don't know if I've ever heard your stream. I could do it right now. You're not gonna piss into a bottle in here. <laughs> That's not fucking. I happen. can't. I fill a bottle up quick. I can't. And that's why I don't piss in bottles because I'm afraid that I'm gonna have too much liquid. I had what what we call uh, in my car the uh, <laughs> the uh, the car time shower. What? Where I peed in a bottle, but the angle of the bottle was such that it filled up. So when I went to move the bottle, pee splashed on me. So I just hand sanitizer in my hand and just kind of. You sanitized your jeans. Yeah. Oh, got the job done. Didn't smell like pee. Just smelled like alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> you live a crazy life over there. Thank you. Pissing in yards, pissing in cars. Do you ever use a bathroom? Yes, I use it all the time. Because Joey. it doesn't sound like it. I use it. it all the time. Don't you dare. Dare do what? Oh. Here comes the building. It's coming down again. Coming down on us. I just want you to know if we were to die in here because the building fell on us, it'd be a great episode. It would be a good episode. <laughs> Put this out. <laughs> Put it out. <laughs> what was that laugh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing like you out there with your cigar and your squat. Fuck you. Scotch. Fuck you all the way. All the way. All the way. Fuck you. I'm picturing you sitting out there with a scotch and like a cigar, like a skeleton, staring at the fucking. And I wear a robe. You wear a robe? Yeah. You think you're Tony Soprano? Nah, I've talked like him quite a bit, but no, I don't think. There's something happening. Bro, legit. There's something something is falling apart. My dog is scared now. Is there a fucking dinosaur in there? Imagine they just drill through the wall. I will do anything for that to happen. (laughs) If someone just came through the fucking wall right now, just turn the camera and be like, you're on. (laughs) If they came right here and they just like poke through the wall. Yeah, if someone came like right there. Came on you right there? Is that what you're saying? We have ads to get to, by the way. We have more ads. You fucking fuck you. I'm Putin, just saying. Putin pooped himself. I forgot about that. That's how we started. Yeah, this. we'll get back to that. Um. All right, so we do have some more ads for today. Uh, we have prize picks. Prize picks. How does it work? All right, you pick two to six players. It's, you know, 
sports here, fellas. Uh, two to six players, and if they, they score more or less than their prize pick, prick, prick, prize pick projection, sorry. <laughs> if they score more or less than that, whichever one you choose, then you can win up to 25x your money on any entry. So let's just say Tom Brady. Do you think he's going to throw more or less than one and a half touchdowns? If you think more and then he throws more, you win your money depending on how much you wager. Uh, but it offers projections on any sport that you watch. This includes NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, PGA, soccer, WNBA, eSports. I don't know how you bet on eSports or how you do this on eSports, but you're doing it. Entries can be made in 60 seconds or less. It's that easy. Safe and fast withdrawals. Uh, it's currently operational in over 30 states and Canada. You can download the Prize Picks app or go to prizepicks.com to sign up. Uh, and uh, first time users can receive up to 100% instant deposit when you match up to 100. Uh, 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 sorry. You receive 100% instant de deposit up to $100. So if you put $100 in, they will give you $100 and match it uh, with the promo code BASEMENT. So put in that promo code BASEMENT when you sign up. Uh, you know, Go on the app or go to uh, prizepicks.com. The code is BASEMENT. Again, you get 100% instant deposit match up to $100. All right, so anything up to $100, you put $20 in, they will give you another $20. You'll have $40 to play with. Um, so yeah, go out there, go have some fun. And uh, let me know because I haven't I, – I, I play this, but I'm not very good at it for some reason. I don't know why. Um, yes, lastly here we have Simply Safe. Simply Safe 24-7 monitored professionally uh, security system for your house. It's keeping Frank's house safe right now. Uh, it's a whole home security system with advanced sensors for every room, window, and door. HD security cameras for inside and outside. Uh, it won Best Home Security System of 2022 by U.S. News and World Report. A third year in a row. A history of being the best here. 24-7 uh, professional monitoring service, and it costs under a dollar a day. Less than half of the price of ADT's tra traditional professionally installed system. Uh, don't miss your chance for massive savings uh, on the f our favorite security system. Get 40% off any new system at simplysafe.com slash basement today. That is simply safe, spelled S-I-M-P-L-I-S-A-F-E dot com slash basement. There's no safe like Simply Safe. All right, folks? So keep your stuff safe. Back to Putin. So apparently he fell down the stairs and pooped his pants because of the fall. Yeah. That's not a good look. No, 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 no. Because that's when people start to worry like, uh oh. Once you crap yourself. Falling down the stairs after the age of, like, seven is, like, so fucking stupid. Dude, well, I fell down the stairs last year. Like, how bad, though? Like, a, like one Pretty of those, hard. Like, whoa, whoa. No, I've done, like, I, well, it was icy, and I went down, dude. I kind of like falling, though. <laughs> like, like, black ice. I love that. You like black ice? Yeah. Normally, you say you don't like black ice. What? Yeah, you went off one day and you were like, oh my God, all, all this black ice. What are you talking about? Oh, you're saying black guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that you feel like an idiot now. No, you... <laughs> That's what you said. You said it. You guys clip it, you know? You said it in his words, not mine, you know? I'm so confused. What the fuck is this kid saying? It's like, what is this joke? Um, no, but I, I actually, you don't like slipping no. if you don't get hurt. I have, I have a thing about me. You know what I like? Go, go ahead. Your turn. When you go, Whoa, but you stay up but for mm. a second. You just go. Whoa. I, I, um, I have something really bad about me that like, I don't look upon people that slip and or trip with like, you know, I'm like, I'm not like, oh, like I'm not sympathetic for them. I'm more like angry at them. Like fucking work your feet, you idiot. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you get upset? Yeah. I just start laughing. Like when I was younger, my mom, the idiot she is, she slipped on black ice and like bashed her mouth. And I was like, what a fucking dummy. Like have feet. Jesus Christ. That's your mom, dude. She yeah, bust I know. her mouth she's open. She's okay. Thank God. I was yeah. really worried when it happened. About two years later though, I looked back and I was like, how embarrassing. How Don't embarrassing fucking to fall. slip. Yeah. You know? You ever think about how embarrass embarrassing it is to like get hit by a car? I thought about that the other day. Bro, no one gets hit by cars anymore. I mean, people get hit by cars every single day. Every kid of our generation, their parent got hit by a car. My parents weren't hit by cars. My both my parents were hit by cars. Your mom got hit by a car. Yeah. Bro, people used to get hit by cars all the time. Now it doesn't happen anymore cuz cars are like fucking stronger. 
What does that mean? I think that kids were outside more, playing in the street. That actually might be it. Yeah. Running amok. That might be it. That and might getting be it. hit by cars. Yeah, no, my mom got hit by a car. And, like, I think she said, like, it hurt and she broke her arm or something. Well, she was hit by a car, Frank. Yeah. It definitely hurt. But, like, hit by a car and being, like, you know, sideswiped are two different things, you know? Sure. You've never been hit by a car? I got hit by a mirror in my back. Oh, yeah. I think you told me this I once. was on rollerblades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gave me 50 bucks. I don't think, as far as I can remember, I was ever hit by a car. But no. falling down the stairs. Falling down the stairs is a lot of fun. This is the thing that's tough about it for Putin. is He's supposed to be this world-renowned leader. But we all fall down and shit ourselves. No, 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 no. Yeah. no. Bro, Putin, it, you've never heard of Kim Jong-il or Kim Jong-un falling down the stairs and pooping their pants because they keep that shit locked tight. They don't let that shit out. Are you talking about their shit? Or are you talking about their, their, s- their the, story, the footage? The story. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I think that they're not. You're not allowed to like own a camera. I'm making stuff up now. I don't know. No, but like that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, if I was Putin, I'd be like, yo, if this gets out to any. <laughs> what was that? What the hell was that? I'd be like this. Oh, there we go. I got it now. I'd be like, listen up. I'd be on the floor. I'd be like, what? <laughs> be like, help me up. Help me up. I did poop. Listen, if any of this gets out, all of you motherfuckers and your family dead. Yeah. Dead to me, dead to you. Honestly, yeah. But it did get out, so someone someone's leaked gonna, this poop. Someone's going to be dead. He leaked, and then someone sni- squealed. He slipped? A slip? A leak? A slip? Hold on, follow me. Uh, oh, go ahead. A slip? A shit? A leak? I think my dog just farted or something. Is that him? Yeah, it was. What was that? Are you going to continue with this? No, no. A I... slip? A leak? You were so excited, but you had nothing. No, nothing. Nothing at all. There was nothing all. for you. There's nowhere for you to go. Yeah. Um, also, before we go, I wanted to talk about that story that you told me before we got on here uh, about some woman suing at TGA Fridays or something. Yeah. I'm very passionate about my mozzarella sticks, and there's a story that has come out that a woman is suing TGA Fridays. Where are you staying on Fridays? Yep, yep. Never been. Yep or no? Oh, you've never been to a Friday's? I've never been to a Friday's. I've never been to uh, a lot of those chains. Applebee's. Applebee's I've been. Chili's. No. I've been to Chili's once or twice. It's like it's like Applebee's and TGI Friday food, but I like heard, with, heard, a, with like a Spanish twist. Chili's is Spanish? That Yeah, it has like a southern, like, like Texas, like, you know how they do like avocado oh, okay. and like tacos and stupid shit. <laughs> Okay. And uh, I went to Red Lobster like once for your birthday. I love Red Lobster. I like their biscuits. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, but she's suing TGI Fridays because apparently the cheese that's inside their mozzarella sticks is not mozzarella cheese. It's cheddar cheese. White cheddar cheese? I guess so. Yeah. Like, are they trying to fool the public? Or I guess I guess they are. I guess they're calling it. That's like me putting a hat on you and calling it like a good person. No? You don't like that one? No. All right. That's like if I were to sell a bottle of soda and just call it water. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How did she... I hope she wins, though. I'm all about the Sue job. I'm all... I'm, I'm super passionate about my... Uh, you mozzarella know how, sticks? You know how I feel about mozzarella sticks. Do you think that they're the best appetizer? What's the best appetizer on a menu? Mozzarella sticks or nachos. What kind of nachos, though? Like loaded, babe. Yeah, with like... Like a meat on it. Yeah. Yeah. Of I mean, you can put meat on it if you want, or yeah, not. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. But but it's not like in the top if it doesn't meet. Cheese, beans, jalapeno, sour cream, jalapeno. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and then maybe maybe some beef or chicken. No, nah, no. Nah, I need some chicken on there. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I I'm a, I'm a big fan of loaded potato skins. Okay. You know? Did we talk about our favorite fries? I think. I, think, I had this argument with the other day, too. Yeah, I think we have. Where we, we agreed, waffle fries, that's a whole potato. Get it out of here. It's disgusting. I don't want it. Yeah, wedges are gross. Wedges are a little too much. Too I'm not much a big fry guy as it is. Do you like baked potatoes? I love baked potatoes. I man. hate baked potatoes. I think it's the worst potato. Well, you're also sitting here and eating sweet potatoes like it's going out of fucking style, you fucking loser. You don't have to get that upset. It's a baked fucking potato. It's too sweet. And the consistency, it never comes out crunchy. It's always fucking soggy. We're not even talking about sweet potatoes. It's I'm talking I'm talk what? Limp. Regular potatoes. Yeah. You would rather eat that 
Like a baked potato? I'd rather have mashed potatoes. Oh, I love mashed potatoes, but like a fat baked potato with butter, sour cream, uh, uh, chives, and salt? Fuck yeah, dude. No. Yeah. I hate that I have to like... Yeah, you gotta like mix... Fix it. No, but I gotta like fish it out. Yeah. Okay. It's Some annoying. people have to work for their food, Joey. Pick up a fucking... Put Some people have to work for their food. Oh, yeah, yeah you're the, the strongest guy in the world. You're eating a baked potato, and I'd rather have mashed potatoes. Joey wants the fucking food put in his mouth. You know what I, <laughs> you know what, you know why I don't like them, too? Because if you open a baked potato and go like this, like this mm -hmm. with it, mm -hmm. the consistency. It's weird. It's gross. And this is a bit of a reach, and I don't know that a lot of people are going to understand the reference, oh, I guess. I'm right here. Don't worry. I know you're going to. But you know what it reminds me of when you go like that? So if you take a baked potato and you just go like this, you like reverse it. Do you know, remember the part in uh, Star Wars where he opens up that thing with his lightsaber? Oh, uh, like yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It's the like ton, white meat. The tauntaun. Yeah, the tauntaun, whatever that is. It's, it's called like, a tauntaun. He like slept in it? Just, it's a tauntaun, Joey. We get it. Buzz Lightyear, relax. <laughs> Two different franchises. But like, when he opens that, I'm like, oh, it looks like a bunch of baked potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I don't know what kind of baked potatoes you're making. If you, if you he go cut like that this. open and it was like worms, it looked like. No, it looked like it looked like baked potato. No, <laughs> it I, did. I don't know what baked potatoes you're having, Joe. Bro, if this ends up turning into a clip, someone find that fucking scene and put it in. I'm, I'm telling you right now. He opens it and it looks like it's like it's guts. Yeah, but probably. What kind no. of fucking potatoes are you eating, <laughs> bro? It didn't look like. But they guts. look like intestines. No. It didn't. It yes. wasn't red. It was white. I know. It was white. It, um, maybe the color. No, no. It looked like a like if you take a baked potato oh and you reverse God. it. No. It no, looked like Joey, the inside no. of this tan tan. What no. was it called? Tan tan. Tan tan. No. <laughs> no. And no one slept in it. As Luke was injured after the battle. You know, uh, they were on Hoth, and he was attacked by that big monster, the big white monster, Harvey Weinstein, and he was put inside by Han Solo. Han Solo found him, and for warmth, he put him in there. Star Wars. I said he slept in it. <laughs> no, but he didn't sleep in it, technically. He was put in there to not die. He slept. He wasn't even awake. He had been slept by the monster. Yeah, he was He was slapped. <laughs> he was slept. Slapped. No, slept by the monster. You don't know when people say that? Like, yo, he slept him? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Don't have that response. I just said it, and you were like, slapped? Yeah. This episode's a bit off the rails. Yeah. Um, one question about Star Wars, since I know you're such a buff. Um, Princess Leia. Mm. Well, she was kissing her brother. Yeah. Oh, well, don't say kissing. It was one kiss in the first movie. Yeah, but it was a hard... And it was, it was a big, to, wet one. It was more to get Han Solo jealous. You wouldn't kiss your sister to get a friend jealous? No, dude. Are you kidding me, Joe? No. Come on. I guess if you're in space, there's different rules. Yeah, space, no one cares. And they also didn't know they were siblings. That's true. So you're going to tell me if you... No. <laughs> Listen to me. I've listened. <laughs> and I've, I've Hold on. given you your time. If you... No. We're out and you met J-Lo. And you and J-Lo are hitting it off. And it's like, wow. We would hit it off. You would. JLo would love me. I would think so, especially the hair. <laughs> That's enough. No, you and Affleck have similar hair. <laughs> it's not a joke. I mean, I guess it is a joke because look at it, but. <laughs> but like, you guys hit it off. Yeah. Things are going great. Laughing. She's still Jenny from the block. Still has got that hometown spirit, but she's also Jennifer Lopez. Right. And you guys were to kiss. Yeah. And then, like, a week later, you find out that you guys are brother and sister. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez? Yeah. You'd be like, gross, but like, <laughs> okay. E yeah, I mean, the damage would be done at that point because I've, I've already said for years that I love Jennifer Lopez and yeah. I think she's yeah. super hot. You've thought so. about her too much in too many, you know, yeah. so compromising I situations. I would be pretty devastated to find out that we're actually fucking uh, related. Yeah, that'd so. be tough. Yeah. Is everyone related? I think I think it's like yeah I think we all have common ancestors. Like is that a thing though? I think so. Like or well it's like uh, t it's enough we're far enough from each other that like, it's like but you're like my one hundredth cousin or something. You know probably what I mean? yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure we could find someone in there. Mm. You know. You know when they say that like guys try to marry girls who are like their mom or something, and girls try to marry guys like their dad. Yeah. 
That's a little weird, if you ask me. Yeah, what is that? I don't know if I'm like that. Listen, I, my mom's a good person. Gave me a good life. Don't want to marry someone like her. Didn't. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> didn't. I didn't marry someone like her. Yeah. You didn't marry someone like your mom? Um, I don't even know like what that means, to be honest. Good cook. Yeah. Irish. <laughs> <laughs> White. White. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's, uh, that's weird to think about. And then that, and then also the, the other thing where it's like when kids are born, they want to like fuck their, well, the, that's the Oedipal complex and the electric complex. Electric? Electra. Electra. Yeah. It's based off of a Greek tragedy known as Oedipus the King. And the story was... <laughs> Why do you know everything? Because I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm well versed. I'm, just, I'm fucking th- giving you layups. Star Wars, they were on Hoth. I'm fucking well versed, baby. Yeah. It's the story of Oedipus the King, where he's born, cast out. He comes back, not knowing the queen is his mom. Fucks, fucks his her. mom. Oh! Kills his dad. Oh! And then finds out, like, uh-oh. I'm, Wait, I'm, why'd he kill his dad? Uh, you can't fuck my mom. I think it was. I think it was like he wanted to. Like he took the throne from him or something like that. Oh. So like. Wait, parent, his mom had to know. No, I think because she cast him out, bro. It's Greece. You send someone across the river, they're gone forever. You don't fucking know these idiots back in like two BC. Oh, he came back and he slammed his mom, and he's like, "Oh, I'm Oedipus," and she's like, "Oh, that's my son." Yeah, something like that. I don't know the exact. I don't remember the exact story. I, I have it at home. I can read it. Bro, so much incest. Fucking, what's it called? House of Dragons? Yeah, people are fucking people sucking are each like, other all the yeah, time. Yeah, it's like, ew, bro. Don't like that. Don't like that. It's a little weird. It's like, you're my niece. We yeah. Should, we should get married. But appa- like, apparently there's a, a, a stage of psychosexual development in children that they are physically attracted to the parent of the opposite sex. It's not like they want to fuck them, but like, they're like, it's kind of like the, you know, like baby girls only want daddy and baby boys only want mommy type of thing. You know what I mean? Okay. It's, it, I, I mean, people say they're not so sure if it's actually accurate. You, but. Does Ruby like you more than Becca? No, no way. Yeah, I don't, I don't no see way. that. I, I think there Maybe is. Maybe at one point, though. I mean, I'm sure, like, uh, she likes us in different ways. You know what I mean? No, she doesn't. No, dude. I don't think so. I think, I think that she likes Becca a whole lot. Me too. And I think it's because Becca's home with her all the time as, you know. Whatever you got to tell yourself, sure. What, 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 are you <laughs> what are you thinking? No, I'm joking. We're best friends, Ruby and I. She plays video games with me. I thought I was your best friend. You are also my best friend. You can't have two. I have three. Three? You, Ruby, Miles. I'm sorry. Oh, and Becca. Four. <laughs> you, have, you have multiple two. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even have best friends. You know why? I'm 30. This is, we're not nine anymore, Frank. The dream's over. <laughs> It comes out. Yeah. It's all right. I've 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 been thinking about you, fearing about that for a while now in the shower, so. About what? You're fearing not, about yeah, me? Yeah, you're not considering me your best friend. Oh, oh, oh. No, of course. Yeah. Yeah, pre-K, bro. Come on. So say it with confidence without joking. Pre-K? <laughs> say it with confidence without joking. No, we go way back, dude. We me, do. you, Karina, Alexa, Jackie, uh, Chelsea. You, all the women that would chase you. Chase me. Well, some, Maria. Some were a bit quicker on their feet than others. Nicole. You're also naming people you have not spoken to in 15 years. I also can't name a single man. In our pre-K Joe, class? Can, Joe. Joe. Uh, we only knew girls. Well, it's you. Uh, no, there, was, <laughs> there was some little kid named Joshua who looked like a little idiot. Shane. Oh, Shane. Yeah. Oh, nah, yeah, Shane. There was a bunch of people in there. Whatever, bro. What are you going to do? Sorry. Best friends um, forever, right? Yeah, forever, dude. Mm. Um, but uh, where can they find you, Frank? Crying about th- th- me not being your best friend. That's really You just good. got a lisp there, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh, F. Alvarez8085 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, I guess. I'm, I, hopefully, I'll be back on Twitch. Uh, Cameo uh, and TikTok. Uh, so go check it out. And then, like I said, the Patreon, patreon.com slash the base of yard. Go check us out on all social media as well. I'm going to tell Joey, you can find Joey at Joe Santagato. Don't, don't, don't come back to him. Don't come back to him. Just, it's me. Go to the show at base yard at TikTok. Wait, what? At the base yard on TikTok and Instagram. Basement yard at TikTok. At TikTok. And that is all. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>